Thank you very much, Ellen, for that kind introduction. And thanks so much for your service as board chair to the Reagan Udall Foundation. It has been exemplary and you have been relentless in building up this organization. I'm delighted to be part of today's ceremony that honors innovators in regulatory science. And I wanna start by expressing my appreciation to the Reagan Udall Foundation for everything it does in support of the FDA and its mission. Reagan Udall plays a very special role in helping the FDA meet the continuing challenges we face involving extraordinary advances in science and the limitations on our time and resources. Your support allows us to focus on data-driven decision-making and apply regulatory science in new and creative ways. In short, you help fill gaps that enable the FDA to advance our mission in ways we might not otherwise be able to do on our own. The awards being presented today focus on principles at the core of FDA's work, innovation and regulatory science. Not surprisingly in our work, these two concepts go hand in hand. Indeed, it's the responsibility of the FDA and a role of regulatory science to support innovation and help ensure it's translated properly into safe and effective products that can make a difference for people. To do this, we examine, harness, and apply advances in fundamental research and developments in science and technology through our regulatory decision-making and the tools that uh, we may bring to bear. Each of today's honorees exemplify qualities that drive this process. In both his role as a member of Congress and as a private citizen through his Kennedy Forum, Patrick Kennedy has worked to advance policies that make a meaningful difference in mental health and substance use issues. He's a fitting recipient for this year's Advocacy Policy Award, and I congratulate him and thank him for his continuing commitment to these public health issues. I'm delighted to see the COVID-19 research database recognized as this year's recipient of the RUF's Innovation Award. We faced unparalleled public health challenges in responding to COVID-19, and the FDA's work to quickly adapt and identify solutions in real time to support FDA-regulated industries, healthcare professionals, and consumers. COVID-19 research database is one way the agency has been able to pivot and rapidly develop structures and solutions to help us respond effectively to the pandemic. This successful public-private partnership goes to the heart of what we do best, collect, analyze, evaluate, and apply data and other evidence to support meaningful decisions that provide answers in the forms of treatments or preventives. The creation of this repository of real world data has not only been an important resource for COVID-19 research, as well as other disease and regulatory areas, but will also serve as a model for future public-private collaborations. Finally, I can't think of any individual more deserving of the Reagan Udall's Leadership Award than the person you selected, the FDA's Director of the Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research, Dr. Peter Marks. Although the pandemic has made Dr. Marks' name a more familiar one to the public, those of us who've had the pleasure of working with him for many years have long known of and appreciated his resourcefulness, his competence, and his diligence. The nation and the FDA are lucky to have someone of his caliber in this role. His commitment to our mission to protect and public health combined with his technical expertise has helped us make great strides toward ending this public health crisis. I should add, and I know Peter would be among the first to say this, that he was supported in this work by an incredibly capable team at CBER who worked around the clock evaluating the massive amounts of data and information accompanying the submissions for COVID-19 vaccines. They did this in record time without sacrificing our rigorous scientific standards or the integrity of the vaccine development process. And of course, they're still at it as we speak, literally. Their work and the efforts of the entire FDA workforce, both in response to the pandemic and in the other extraordinary things we must work on, play a very important role in helping keep the public safe and healthy. 
which brings me back to the important work and role of the RUF supporting our regulatory science mission. In closing, it's worth noting, we've seen a number of studies that have shown an increase in the public's awareness of and trust in science and scientific research. Just this past week, for example, a new international study found about 80% of the people questioned trusted science, either a lot or some. Part of this is due to the successful response to the pandemic by FDA and other agencies, including through the rapid development and authorization of vaccines. But this latest survey was conducted while vaccine trials were still underway and largely before COVID vaccines were publicly available in many countries. So I would suggest it represents something bigger. And although we all are very concerned about anti-science um, efforts uh, around the world right now, it shows that uh, maybe that might be a vocal minority. And granted, we still have a lot of work to do to counter the surge of misinformation out there. But the kind of trust in science, the kind of science we do, that's based on good data and information is surely an indication our commitment is making a difference, both in the public perception and the public's health. So my deep thanks to the Reagan Udall Foundation for their continued support and today's honorees for their commitment and leadership. Thank you.